Good evening, Facebook and everybody out there. What are you doing at 5.35 p.m. on Tuesday evening? It is July 2nd, 2019. How's it going? How's it going? It is Sue Brooke. And um, for those of you who don't know me, I love to get on here and do some educational and inspirational Facebook Lives to talk about business mostly and marketing and things like that. This is going to be very short because I'm actually getting ready to do a webinar in just a few minutes. So those of you who are seeing this in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to be doing a webinar. I will post the uh, link in the comments or you can go on my Facebook page and you can go ahead and join. And the topic is really about relationship marketing. It's about what my webinar is going to be about. I do them every Tuesday. So if you miss this one or you can go ahead and register and if you can't be on, I can send you a replay. But anyway, I, I got to tell you a very quick story. Um, what not to do what not to do when you're meeting someone for the first time that maybe you met at a networking mixer, chamber mixer, or something like that. So as you know, those of you who know me know that I go to a lot of networking events. I moved out here a year and a half ago and didn't know anyone. So I, went, I pretty much an expert and knowing how to go out and meet people at networking events and build relationships with them. So now I'm recognized everywhere. I'm, uh, you know, I have a pretty good reputation for the most part, I think. Anyway, <laughs> so I just got to tell you a story, a really quick story before I get on my webinar real quick, um, because I'm kind of in that mode. So the other day I went to a networking mixer and I met somebody there and uh, I said, hey, why don't we meet for coffee? I'd love to find out more about your business. She'd gotten up to speak and talk a little bit about what she did, but I really understand. So I thought, well, let's meet for coffee and uh, build another relationship. And plus I had someone that I thought I needed to refer her to for what she did. So anyway, so I met her the other day and here's what happened. So this is what not to do, okay? <laughs> so we sat down and I, I automatically, and usually the first one to say, I wanna know more about you. Yes, I, you know, it's great meeting you, whatever. Um, tell me more about what you do, your business, are you from here? You know, I'm, I'm asking leading questions to learn more about her, okay? So I did that, which I normally do, and what happened? was she started talking and talking <laughs> and she just kept talking <laughs> and she kept going on and on and on about what she was doing and i was i was talking to her then another couple friends had come by to sit down and so they started talking to her and she just kept talking and talking and talking and when it kind of tapered off a little bit oh shoot uh sorry if my internet's also uh she i the long story short of it is this she went off on all sorts of tangents talking about herself talking about herself the whole time and i tried to interject once for example i said something like so what's your biggest challenge in your business you know that's always intriguing to me i want to know what people's biggest challenge is and she's like well you know I, I don't really have any you know and i said oh you were at the networking mixer so you have enough clients and she's like well you know i could use enough clients and then she started going off on, about herself some more on and on and on and i'm not joking uh she talked for quite a while <laughs> maybe at least 30 minutes and then she had to go and the point of my story is this she never one time not once asked me what i did i'm not even positive she knew my name uh but and oh on top of that she was 30 minutes late she was really late getting there she'd forgotten um which not wasn't a big deal. I was talking to someone else. But here's the thing. If you're going to meet somebody and you want to form a relationship and, and get to know each other and find out about each other and maybe get referrals or get, you know, um, get a new client or something, you kind of need to be interested in what they're doing and who they are and what kind of clients they need. And I kept trying to find out even, and the point of this too, is she kept going on and on and on and she never, I still don't really know what she does. I still really don't know who her clients are. She seemed to act like she works with anyone. And um, it was really a difficult conversation. And so when I left, I was there, a friend of mine had shown up and she was there with me. And we kind of looked at each other and said, 
Um, she didn't ask either one of us what we did or who we were or anything about us. So that is what not to do. That is hashtag what not to do when building a relationship. So tonight I'm going to be doing a webinar in about, oh gosh, 20 minutes at six o'clock um, on relationship marketing and talking about all the things you should do. And my number one tip is really don't ever make it about you. In fact, try not to talk so much about yourself unless they're really asking questions and then try to turn the conversation around and get to know them too. You know, put yourself in, in their shoes. You know, do you want to just, uh, if I find myself feeling like I'm talking too much, I usually stop and ask the other person to start talking. So anyway, that is my tip of the day. <laughs> um, I would love to know if you have any um, experience with this because I've had several. And um, one of the things that I do every single time I meet someone is I take a picture, a selfie of the two of us, A, because I don't want to forget what they look like. And I usually send them a card in the mail and thank them for meeting with me because you know what we're all busy and uh, it's it's a lot of work sometimes and a lot of time to get up and get in your car and go drive and meet someone for coffee and spend an hour with them or whatever so um, make sure that you are kind and considerate and and uh, you really seriously authentically care about the other person and want to know more about them and build possible friendships. So there you go. I am done chatting. I'm going to get ready for my webinar. If you want a link, I'll go ahead and stick it in the comments. You can look on my Facebook page as well and register and jump on. And I'm going to go into a lot more detail on building relationships. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Hope you have an awesome day. And by the way, if you want to talk to me about this, meet with sue.com is a great way to go and set up a, a time to meet with me. All right. Have you guys uh, have a great day? Okay, bye.